Hello, I'm Dave Kassler from Ask Dave. Got a comment here from Carol Martin, 7042. Dave, does the loading coil act as an induction coil if the whip is inserted into it? From N0 QFT, Glenn. He is referring specifically to a ham stick. Ham sticks have got a black part that gives the thing strength, plus the wire is very loosely wrapped, and then there's a little loading coil in there. The instructions warn you about putting the stinger in the antenna too far to the point where it goes through the coil. If you do that, it will drastically change the inductance of that coil because as it stands, it's an air core coil and you're gonna put steel into it, okay? That's going to make a difference in how that works. In fact, the ones from MFJ warn you that that could actually create so much heat you could have a fire there. So don't do that. Keep in track of how long that is. You, you adjust these coils by lengthening or shortening the stinger to get it to just the right SWR. You can have two in opposition. Make sure they're the same length of stinger, okay? Or you can have one pointed up with uh, radials or ground plane or counterpoise or something like that. Now, does that convert it into an induction coil? It's just a coil and you're changing the core of the coil. And by sticking that stinger through it, you are drastically, and I do mean drastically, changing the inductance in that coil. And you'll get quite a bit of heating in that coil. Like I said, enough to start a fire. Okay, there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.